Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, welcome back to RPG A Day 2018. We are at August the 22nd. Which non-dice system appeals to you? This is this is the good question, because there are a lot of great diceless games out there. And one of the ones that I definitely want to go for is the Through the Breach. I love the concept of Through the Breach. It's a steampunk-esque game where you, you're in a Wild West alternate dimension where you're gathering soul stones and it uses a poker deck for the system. So you basically will, you'll have some wild cards in your hand as well and you'll be playing off a shared deck on the table. And you can actually cheat fate with the cards that you hid in your hand. Now. And the thing is, higher is not always better when it comes to the cards. So sometimes you may actually want to have lower cards in your hand up your sleeve as, as they refer to it. So that way you can slip out and swap cards. And it really does give a really cool steampunk western poker table feel, you know, where you're sitting there and you're playing with the, the poker deck. And of course they theme the decks, which is cool. Like if you, you purchase their decks, they actually have the different factions or different, you know, houses in the deck. So I would have to go with Through the Breach, which, and it's also the same mechanic that's used in uh, Malifaux their actual tabletop war game, which is also a good game. Awesome miniatures. I mean, if you ever get a chance to, to, to look at Malifaux or uh, Through the Breach, check out their website with Weird. They uh, also have great convention support. I'll throw that one out there. So you just go up to their site, you uh, check out the stuff. You can actually have an army of hillbilly goblins. Or you can have the guild or, you know, the Unborn, which are basically supernatural weird creatures, and uh, cool miniatures that go with it, too. So you get the really cool poker deck, so you can actually play poker with your friends with the deck later, if need be. Or uh, one of these days, I think I'll take one of my, my Malifaux decks and play Solitaire on camera or something. Just for giggles. Just to show off their cool cards, because the artwork is really nice on them. And I am always a fan of cool artwork, because, hey, art inspires art. Alrighty, guys. Through the Breach is my non-die system that appeals to me because it's cool, it's themed, and it just makes life interesting. Quick second note is the Fate system has Fate cards. Instead of rolling the Fate dice, you could actually play using a car deck of cards for your answers. We tried experimenting with that one on a uh, accelerated Fate game, and that was pretty interesting too. The the tactile joy of going and grabbing, you know cards and pl plopping them down and as opposed to rolling dice because that's something I know in gaming. Dice and cards, it's it's great to have that tactile play with something at the table. Gets that little uh, RPG fidget spinner out. Alrighty guys, I'll talk to you later and uh, I think you're going to like tomorrow's question. Alright, talk to you later. Bye. Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. 
You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a dungeon crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so. Dungeoncrate.com. Let the adventure begin. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.